Have you ever tried taking notes during a lecture? It's fine until the presenter starts adding content here, there, and everywhere. OneNote lets you type anywhere on the page. So I can type here, I can type over there, I can type down here. In fact, I can even type on top of the picture. On the home ribbon, you can also highlight type text and use the other tools common in a word processor. So I'm going to select this text, I'm going to highlight it, select this text, I'll make it bold. I can make those kinds of changes that I'm used to. OneNote also includes tags. So you can mark things as important, note where you have a question, or keep track of things on your to-do list. So I'll just put my mouse here, go up to my list of tags, say that this is important. You'll see here I have a list of things to do, and I can check them off as I go or uncheck them. I can say that a particular piece of information, I could say that I have a question about that. And no matter where I am on the line, when I tag it, that tag is going to go uh, at the beginning of the line. Now that I have added some tags, later on I might want to come back and find them, particularly those things on my to-do list. If I go to my home ribbon and click Find Tags, you'll have a summary on the right-hand side. You'll notice you can search a specific notebook, all of your notebooks, uh, specific times when you may have tagged things. I can even check off the things that I have completed and uh, then when I say show only unchecked items, it'll narrow down my to-do list. So this can be a particularly helpful tool for finding things later on. Now let me show you what it looks like across all notebooks, since I have quite a few tags in my notebooks and quite a few notebooks. So I can go right through and get a feel for everything that has been tagged with a to-do in this case. I'm going to turn off show only unchecked items. And these are all of my different tags that I am using. Now suppose something that you want to find is actually not tagged. Instead, it's text you typed or it's part of a document that is embedded into your notebook. Then you simply go over to the search field and start typing. I know that I had something on catapults. Here it is. As I start to type in C-A-T, it finds it. It also finds any references I have to cat. Another thing was the Count of Monte Cristo. If I start to type Monte, it will show me which notebooks I have that in. And if I go to the notebook, it will highlight the word Monte on the appropriate pages. Now I've returned to my school notebook, and I know in this notebook I had some reference to the one-to-one -one program. If I go over here to my search, and decide that I want to search only this notebook. Then I can type in one-to-one -one and it'll find the page that I referenced one-to-one. -one. In fact, that is actually in a document that I have printed into my notebook. 